Hello everyone, my name is Running Batman. Welcome back. Today we've got some more Modern Warfare 2 Special Ops. Right now we're going to run through the suspension mission, which is to push through the invading force on the bridge to reach the safe zone. Now for loadouts, I usually stick with sniper rifles and usually scoped assault rifles. So right here I'll pick up the EBR and usually it's the ACR with a grenade launcher and ACOG just because I like to definitely have my pinpoint accuracy on here and for me I don't know why but I've got some difficulty looking out for you know heads that pop out and things like that so an enhanced scope or a zoomed in rifle definitely helps me in the long run. Uh, another tip here is usually to take one side at a time so if you choose the left or right and you're by yourself then typically you want to wipe out all of the roped in enemies on the one side and then focus fire on the next before advancing. If you have a partner, it's a lot easier to have one person on one side and another person on the opposite side. Both of the sniper rifles are scoped weapons and just shoot everybody as soon as they land instead of letting them run about on the highway. Uh, something else to look out for is that all of the vehicles tend to explode with grenades and whatnot next to them. So if you're near a car that let's say is on fire or has been shot a couple times, you might want to move away from there. If the enemy, on the other hand, is near a car, that's perfectly fine. You'll slowly want to move up to the next sort of tier, which is usually about halfway up from the gas truck there. And then, again, the same sort of scenario with the first section. Uh, stick to one side, take out the enemies, and then rinse and repeat to, to wipe out the rest. So another good thing about the ACR with the ACOG scoping and grenade launcher is that it's really convenient to quickly swap over to a grenade launcher and just fire away to blow up a car, take out a couple of enemies. Uh, once you get past the gas truck though, there happens to be some sort of explosion, slows you down a little, that's pretty normal. Uh, just keep running on up until you eventually make sort of a ramp, and you can make your way up there. At this point, there's a couple options you could do. It's either a good idea to pick up an RPG and you can take out the helicopter that's going to eventually mow you down if you don't. You could take out the incoming troop carrier that's also a helicopter in the distance, although that one's a lot harder to get to. And uh, usually it's more significant to take out that first helicopter. If you don't get it the first time, then usually a grenade launcher will do or an RPG. As you can see here, I'm panicking quite a bit, so it's more advantageous to me to sort of wipe out the rest of the incoming troops. I do pick up a rocket launcher. I'm looking around for that helicopter. Hopefully I'm able to get it. Again, I miss. This helicopter just giving me such a you know hard time. So panicking again, taking cover as best as possible, take out a few of the troops. Eventually I get to the clear and I'm able to pick up the RPG again. Hopefully I can hit this helicopter this time. And there's the shot and there you go, that's the sound of the helicopter falling. Now it's just myself and the rest of these guards. Another good position to hide up top is this secondary barrier right here. There's either the car on the right side or there's the blockade on the left. Uh, if you have two people then it's usually more helpful to have it on one on each side or both of you on the left as the enemies tend to have more cover on the right side so when they try to move up on the left they're pretty open and it's a lot easier to pick them off. Um, at this point as well claymores and C4 aren't very helpful just because it's it's again you versus however many of them so if there's 30 of them you're really outnumbered you can't really move up to be defensive. Um, once the helicopter is taken down as well, the things like the thumper and the rocket launcher aren't very helpful. So stick back with any sort of ranged weapons. I continue to keep up with the scope and the ACR. 
um, take out as many guys as you can and then slowly move up and then rinse and repeat just do like the same thing from before in the lower level slowly move up wipe away some guys and then just keep going keep going keep going keep going because if you stay still you're eventually going to get pinned down and grenades going to fly next to you or three guys are going to come around the corner and on veteran that's not fun to deal with right now i'm going to hopefully do a lot more sniping i feel that it's more easier than dealing with the enemies head on just because again more of them on veteran means more damage to me more cover i'm going to, have to take and more likely i'm going to panic and eventually lose um, another key idea is to waste away pretty much all of your frags as they're rushing up or use a grenade launcher simply because usually several of them are, stand around, are standing around a car or the gas tank at the back or something like that. So one grenade lights off, blows up and gets another car to blow up, that gets another car to blow up and eventually it's just a chain of explosions to take out a lot of your resistance. Right now I think there's about a little bit of enemies left, something like a couple snipers and a few people with assault rifles. I decided to be very cautious and moved up with the scope DBR. I always keep track of your ammo as well. Uh, as you can see there I didn't really keep count and ended up having to reload as soon as. That one guy with a RPG is trying to hide on me. Looking around again because it's hard to see. Oh, there he is. Got a reload. Grenade out. I think I might have got him there. Nope, doesn't look like it. So I'm looking around. Oh, there he is. And eh, he's down. One last grenade just to be sure since I picked him up. No point in keeping him. Usually at the back there's a couple of guys who try to run on out at you at the end. But it's a good idea to throw some frags sooner up and take him out. Again, blow up all the cars. That way it doesn't blow up when you're walking by them. Um, this one was fairly short. I think it took me around 8 minutes or so. A little less to complete. Again, be cautious. Exploding cars are going to definitely be your friend if you use them right. For some reason that guy thought he could hide behind the tanker, but I can get his leg. Uh, I couldn't really find that guy, so I'm going to try to get him with a little bit of maneuverability here. Nope, frag again. Move on up slowly, and there he's down. Alrighty, right to the green gas, and you're free, and that's the game. Alrighty guys, my name's Running Batman, thanks for watching, have a good day.